let's further expand the capabilities of our multi-tenant application with the ability to keep track of expenses for each task. Let's add an expenses table. Each expense will have an expense ID, an item, a price, as well as a quantity. We will bind each expense to a particular task using a task ID foreign key. Mark the expense ID field as a primary key and an identity field. Drag task ID field onto tasks table to create the foreign key relationship. Proceed to refresh the schema. Let's create a model for expenses. Let's add a calculated field that will multiply price by quantity to show the total price. Press the Add Calculated Field button on the toolbar. Let's assign a name of Total Price. Drag the price field from the expenses table at the bottom of the window into the script box. Let's multiply it by the quantity field. Press save. Let's position this field right after the quantity field and save the model. Let's open the project designer to add expenses as the data view field on tasks. Switch to the Controllers tab. Drag the Expenses controller onto Tasks. This will create a data view field. Let's make sure this field is bound to each view of Tasks controller. Proceed to generate the project. Let's add some expenses to a task. At the bottom of the tasks form, we can view a list of expenses. Let's go ahead and add some. Note that the calculated field is blank on the form. The total price field has been calculated and displayed in the grid. The calculation we added is only performed when the record is read from the database. We will need to add a calculate business rule in order to display the calculation to the user on the form. Also, it will be helpful to display some expense aggregates. Switch back to the project designer. First, we will need to set the price and quantity fields to raise the calculate event when the user changes their value. Expand the Expenses controller. Expand Fields. And double-click on the Price field. Check the box next to Changing the Field Value Causes Calculate command to execute. Make the same change to the Quantity field. Next, let's add a business rule to handle this calculate event. Right click on the business rules node and press new business rule. Let's create a SQL business rule that handles the calculate event. During the phase execute,
If the price or quantity field has not been specified, then total price will be set to zero by this business rule. Otherwise, it will multiply price by quantity and set that value to total price. Finally, let's add the aggregates. Expand the Views node. Expand Grid 1. And double click on Price. Let's show the average of the price. Change the aggregate function to average. Let's show the sum of all the quantities. Double click on the quantity data field and set the aggregate function to sum. Let's also show a sum of total price. Let's see the changes. The aggregates for all the fields are now displayed at the bottom of the grid. We can see the average of the unit price, the sum of the quantity, and the sum of the total price. Let's add another expense. Notice that the price and quantity are multiplied together to create the total price when the user makes a change to those fields. Go ahead and press save. You can see that the aggregates have been updated to include the new values.